Hi there, folks. We welcome you back here inside the Whittemore Center. Dan Parkerson, Pete Webster coming to you live from the Planet Fitness broadcast booth. Wildcats taking on the Providence College Friars here tonight in the front end of this home and home weekend series. As the puck got back behind Beaudry. Harvey on it now will clear the puck around the boards. Augusta at the right point, able to keep it in down the right wall for Sorkin. Sorkin's got it in the right corner. Sorkin, his pass across the front for a shot and a score by Canoto. Wildcats bury an early one here and take a 1-0 lead a minute and 30 seconds in. Top of the far circle, Canoto. Now it's Henry in, playing it back up to the midpoint now to Canoto. His pass down the right side off the mark, but does get down to the right corner where Downing gets it and plays it back up to the right point for Van Riemsdyk. Canoto here for Henry. And Henry and his shot, save, may rebound, score! Henry and got a shot from a sharp angle that caught a piece of Beaudry and then caught the pipe. And it sat in the crease for Downing to shovel it home. A power play goal and a 2-0 lead for the Wildcats with 9.03 to go in the first. Yeah, the first, uh, the first ever uh, ended up uh, going in off the post or going off the post. And I think that was a deflection from Henry. And the referee demonstratively waved his arms, waved it off. He was right there and there was Downing to tip it home past the sprawled out leg of Alex Beaudry and the Wildcats have a 2-0 lead. Good fortune, perhaps it's our green that we're wearing. Good fortune for the Wildcats on that power play. Wildcats win the draw, it's to the point, left side, Hardaway. His pass into the right circle for Gumas. Gumas works his way down the right boards. Goal line right here, Sorkin walks it to the front. Scares it across here for Moses and he scores. Sorkin just walked it all to the front of the net. Got an initial shot away. Sat in the crease, Moses stuffs it home. And a three nothing lead for the Wildcats here with 5.41 to go in the first. 15.54 to go here, second period action. Wildcats with a three nothing lead. Shemansky at his blue line. Up ice feed for Berglund and backhanded into the Wildcats zone. Behind the net, Canodal. Canodal hit there, knocked it into the corner. A centering pass for a shot and a score by Schaller. Wildcats a little nonchalant there. Turned it over in the corner. Shallow all along. Friars on the board with 15.39 to go here in the second. It's 3-1. to one. Who clears it around the boards. Now it is Montesano who sent it to center ice, and it's a two-on-one here for the Friars. Drop pass back alone in front. A shot. What a pad save by DeSmith as all alone in front there. An interesting choice by the Providence College coaching staff is... Walk right to the front of the net for a shot by Cross that is stopped by DeSmith. Wildcats can't clear it past Harvey at the point. He'll take a shot. A blocker save will be made by DeSmith on that one. Henry in trying to clear it here. He cannot. Army with a shot. Save made by DeSmith through some traffic. Cleared up and out into center ice. On it here is Hart. Able to work it over to Beliski. Now Harvey will be able to dump it into the zone. Canodal trying to knock the puck up the wall. Gumas got a stick on it as well. It's still loose on the wall. Van Riemsdyk an intercept here. Comes free to the side and then Beliski tries to stuff it in and the puck's in. But the goal is waved off. Immediate wave off by John Gravelisi with 14.7 seconds to go. In parties. Still looking things over is referee John Gravelisi. Out of town scoreboard uh, gave you some of the updates. UMass Lowell holding on to beat Vermont by the score of three to one with junior forward Riley Wetmore and freshman forward Scott Wilson each picking up a goal and an assist in that game to help UMass Lowell earn a victory in their opening game of a two game stand between those two schools down at Songa Center. And uh, after the review, the call on the ice does stand. No goal. It comes in the right wing circle. Extra attacker on for the Friars, and PC does win the faceoff. It's new back up at the point. Playing it down the wall for Schaller. He sends one to the front. That is blocked by Burke. Burke ahead to Borisnok. Out at center ice. Plays it to the Friar line. New over to Mauerman here. One second to go. Mauerman's long half shot goes wide. And the Wildcats pick up a 3-1 win here tonight over the Providence College Friars in this opening game of a two-game home-and-home weekend series. And UNH improves on the season to 2-0 against Providence. 